Ladies and gentlemen, this is Intervlog. I say this is Intervlog, and I am here once more. I'm here because there is an amazing development that is going on in Burkina Faso, and the majority of you have never heard about this development. And this development is one of the biggest developments in Africa right now because it is going to be a game changer when it is finished. And that thing is about manufacturing in Burkina Faso. Right now, Ibrahim Traoré is developing an integrated pharmaceutical technology park in Coco Logo. This is going to be the biggest pharmaceutical technology park in Africa. The size and the technology that to be used for the park is what Africa has never witnessed. Therefore, I am going to take you on a journey about the development of the pharmaceutical technology park of Coco Logo. Let's go and you'll hear how everything is happening because Traoré wants to stop importing medicine from outside the continent. He has now brought the technology into Africa to manufacture those medicines that Africans used to import from overseas to Africa. He wants to produce them, manufacture them, and sell them in Africa. And it is amazing. The land and everything has been secured and the project is now ongoing. Let's go and you see the level of the project and how everything is happening. It's mind blowing. No African leader has done anything like this. So let's go. Pharmaceutical Technopole Project in Kokologo. The technical group of the Interministerial Technical Monitoring Committee is combing through the activities for the year. The first session of the year 2024 of the technical group of the Interministerial Technical Monitoring Committee, CIS, of the Pharmaceutical Technopole Project in Kokologo met this Tuesday 13th, 2024 in Ouagadougou. At the opening of the work, Dr. Serge Diabuga, Director General of Research and Innovation, also President of the CIS Technical Group, thanked the members and the various stakeholders who were committed to the success of the project. He expressed the wish that the year 2024 would see the emergence of great achievements in favor of the Technopole. During the work of this first session of the Interministerial Technical Monitoring Committee, CIS, of the project which extends, the members of said committee will examine, among other things, the progress of the implementation of the emergency plan for securing and developing the pharmaceutical technopole site, the mobilization of land for the resettlement of people affected by the project and the specifications of the production units of the pharmaceutical technopole in Kokologo the 2023 overall assessment of the implementation of the pharmaceutical technopole preparation process, as well as the manual and monitoring and evaluation tools, the communication plan for the technopole development project will also be examined closely by the participants in this first session of the year 2024 of the CIS in order to improve them. The major actions will include, among other things, the finalization of studies, the completion of construction work, the construction of the ground floor technical building to house the high containment level quality control and virology laboratory, and the continued mobilization of financial resources and potential investors. With a total cost of approximately 70 billion CFA francs over a period of five years, the pharmaceutical technopole in Kokologo is a growth pole that will allow pharmaceutical products to be produced locally, creating jobs and wealth for the country. Its aim is to contribute to the well-being of the population by improving access to human and animal health products, boosting research and innovation and training dedicated to industrial units. Kokologo or Kokologo is a department or commune of Bulkiemde province in central Burkina Faso. As of 2005, it had a population of 40,621. Its capital lies at the town of Kokologo. Speech by the president of Burkina Faso, Ibrahim Traoré, on the advantages of the new pharmaceutical technopole in Kokologo. Dear compatriots, it is with great pride and determination that we embark on the construction of the new pharmaceutical technopole in Kokologo, a landmark project that stands to transform the landscape of our nation's health and economy. With a total investment of approximately 70 billion CFA francs over the next five years, this state-of-the-art facility will become a pillar of growth for Burkina Faso and a source of prosperity for all Burkina Bay.
One of the core advantages of this Technopole is its ability to boost local production of pharmaceutical products. No longer will we have to rely on costly imports for our medicines. We will have the capacity to produce them right here on our soil for both human and animal health. This will drastically reduce costs and improve accessibility to essential drugs for all of our people, especially those in rural areas. With locally made pharmaceutical products, we are ensuring that every Burkina Bay, regardless of their social standing, has access to quality health care. In addition to health benefits, this project will be a key driver of job creation. Thousands of jobs will be generated in various sectors of the pharmaceutical industry, from production to research and innovation. And let me be clear, all of these opportunities will go to Burkina Bay citizens. This Technopole will be built by Burkina Bay for Burkina Bay. Our sons and daughters will be trained, equipped, and empowered to run these facilities, ensuring that the wealth generated stays within our borders and contributes directly to the development of our nation. Furthermore, the pharmaceutical Technopole in Kokologo will position Burkina Faso as a leader in research and innovation. Our researchers and scientists will have access to world-class facilities to develop new treatments and technologies. This will not only address the health challenges we face today, but also enable us to contribute to the global medical field, enhancing our standing on the international stage. Training will also be a cornerstone of this initiative. The Technopole will serve as a hub for the education and development of highly skilled professionals with a focus on the pharmaceutical and industrial sectors. Our youth will receive specialized training that will prepare them for the jobs of tomorrow, ensuring that Burkina Faso remains competitive in a rapidly evolving global economy. This project is more than just a development. It is a statement of our collective ambition. It demonstrates our commitment to the well-being of our population, our ability to harness innovation, and our determination to build a future where Burkina Faso can thrive in all sectors. Together, through this project, we will create wealth, improve health, and lay the foundation for a more prosperous nation. But what does this project truly represent? Why is it so significant for us today and for generations to come? Allow me to walk you through the many advantages and profound impacts that this endeavor will bring to our nation. One of the primary objectives of the pharmaceutical Technopole is to enhance local production of essential medicines. For far too long, Burkina Faso has relied heavily on imported pharmaceutical products to meet the needs of our population. This reliance has not only made healthcare more expensive for our people, but has also left us vulnerable to supply disruptions, global market fluctuations, and other challenges beyond our control. With the establishment of this Technopole, we will break free from this dependency. We will have the capacity to produce pharmaceutical products locally, right here in Kokologo. This will allow us to meet the demand for both human and veterinary medicines. From vaccines to life-saving drugs, our production facilities will ensure that every Burkina Bay, whether in cities or the most remote villages, has access to affordable, high-quality medicines. By reducing our reliance on imports, we will also strengthen our national sovereignty. Health security is an integral part of national security. And with this Technopole, we will have greater control over the availability and pricing of critical health products. No longer will we be at the mercy of external forces when it comes to the health of our people. This is not just a matter of economic sense. It is a matter of national pride and responsibility. Perhaps one of the most direct and visible impacts of the pharmaceutical Technopole will be the creation of thousands of jobs for Burkina Bay citizens. From construction and infrastructure development in the early phases to skilled positions in research, production, and distribution in the long term, this project will provide employment opportunities across a wide range of sectors. It is important to emphasize that these jobs will go to Burkina Bay. Every single worker, every researcher, every technician will be from Burkina Faso. 
This is a project for our people, and I want to make it clear that we are committed to ensuring that the economic benefits of this Technopole stay within our borders. Our citizens will be trained, equipped, and empowered to take full ownership of the various industrial units and laboratories that will operate within the Technopole. The ripple effects of this job creation will be felt far beyond Coca Logo. As people find employment, they will have more income to spend, which in turn will stimulate local businesses, markets, and communities. Families will have the means to improve their living standards, send their children to school, and invest in their futures. This is the end of our program today. See you on Intervlog same time tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get new video updates. Thank you for watching Intervlog. Thank you.